24 Hour News 8 following renewable energy trends. We traveled with the governor to Michigan's Thumb in Huron County earlier this summer as she pitched her alternative energy initiative and wind power as an emerging industry for our state. And today, Patrick Center live in Oceana County where one family is taking a, a do-it-yourself approach. Patrick? Yeah, Larry and Sue, the Austin family just erected, just purchased this $10,000 residential wind generator. It stands 45 feet tall and will generate almost enough electricity to power their farmhouse. It'll pay for itself in five years. And with energy prices on the increase, we're taking a closer look tonight at wind power across our state. An open field and some extra cash. Well, we could convert this into a wind tower, get a, get a payback in a few years, and if nothing else, I'll be able to look out the window and watch it turn. Turning on the lights, the heat, and a new industry. I think it's the way of the future, and um, I'm excited to be a part of it. West Michigan Wind and Solar advertising at the start of this year. By uh, late February, we had over 140 sales leads uh, just in West Michigan. Local ordinances an issue in the past, but now as energy costs rise and going green becomes commonplace. Most of the counties and most of the planning commissions um, have been very supportive. A $50 permit and up it goes. For years, the opposition has argued the windmills are noisy or aesthetically unappealing. Hank Austin puts his spin on the argument. There's nothing really uglier than a telephone pole and all the phone wires, things like that, but nobody sees them anymore because we're used to looking at them. Commercial wind farms popping up across our state. I logged on to the American Wind Energy Association's website discovering this map. Huron County in the thumb with 35 giant units, 40 more coming online, enough to energize more than 10,000 homes each year. Emmett and Grand Traverse counties getting on board. But that's alternative on a grand scale. The red on this map indicates optimal wind speeds. West Michigan, a prime location for farming. For the average homeowner, a retiree like Hank, he says do it yourself. The power company pays him at a discounted rate for electricity he sends back into the grid. Just go for it. The sooner the better. As for a wind farm in Oceana County, it's coming. An ordinance just passed allowing the John Deere Company to invest $150 million in 30